a Notre Dame nerd. I served on the Black Alumni Board for years. I was on the um, National uh, Alumni Board for a term and I still am currently on an advisory council. I thought I was really prepared for college uh, when I left high school, when I graduated high school. And Notre Dame was really hard, but not anything where, you know, insurmountable nights and over, you know, all-nighters and all that. I felt really challenged, which is what is supposed to happen when you're in college. If you're not truly learning, and learning in every sense of the word, then you're wasting your time. And I learned so much while I was there. I was a Japanese minor, which I had never even thought about Japanese before I went to Notre Dame. I felt in all four of my years that I was always learning and learning what, what I wanted to learn. The arts and letters education I got was just, you know, it was, it was paramount. Um, I learned so much and it's so much stuff that I still think about and use today. So uh, I was challenged in some of the best ways ever. I talk to a lot of kids who are prospective high school students or incoming students because I try to stay uh, very involved with Notre Dame. So for kids that are undecided about whether or not they want to go to Notre Dame, I always say that you think that you're making a four-year decision. Like right now you're 17, 18 and you're like, I don't want to be cold for four years. I don't want to be in Indiana for four years. And I'm like, that is the wrong way to think about it. That's short-sighted. You're making a lifetime decision. So having an arts and letters education definitely prepared me for grad school. I went right into journalism school immediately after graduating Notre Dame. And I naively thought everyone was going to be 22 as well in my graduate studies class and I think it was like me and another girl. But you know, I had a lot of confidence at Notre Dame which, uh, you know, it's not about being vain or having ego or whatever, but when you are so different from the majority um, in such sort of a blatant way, it gives you a little bit of swagger where you can just walk into a room and start talking. Being at Notre Dame definitely helped sort of amp that up in me. And so being one of the youngest people in my class and being in this profession where you have to talk to people, you can't say, well, Beyonce was at this thing, but I was too nervous to talk to her. You know, you have to do it. Um, so having my arts and letters education, you know, just being able to, to think in a different way and to be curious about things. That's what reporters and journalists are, we're curious. And I think that that's truly what the arts and letters education teaches you to be. It teaches you to ask questions and to not just take, okay, this is what happened in 1862, run with it. You're supposed to say, okay, I understand the facts, but can we talk about the dynamics? Like, what are the nuances of this? So, you know, I do that every day. That's what I do every single day. Um, in my profession and you know grad school was an extension of that education and now Whether I'm on a red carpet or you know shooting something for TV or whatever I'm doing It's that confidence and that curiosity that sort of carries you through There's just no place like it. I can't I cannot boil it down to one word um, Whenever I'm back on campus, which is a lot Whenever I see the dome or whenever I'm just looking straight up Notre Dame Ave is the same feeling and what other place does that you know except for home so I guess my word is home it just feels like home